Oh, hey, good morning, YouTube. How y'all doing? This is Monday morning. When I just came off from, uh, I took this past weekend off. I'm in the Dallas area, and I got some uh, friends in Dallas that I thought might it would be cool to meet up with and hang out for a while. So they were kind enough to invite me to their home, and I was able to manage to get the, uh, take Saturday and Sunday off while I was in the area. Um, so we went, I went and hung out with them Saturday evening. Man, drinking a lot of bourbon that night. All right, if you, if you follow my TikTok, then you know we went live on TikTok, and uh, ooh, it was a fun night. That's not the story for right now. Right now, I'm going to tell you about how to manage your 70. Why, why now? Because I'm coming off of my reset, and I'm on a fresh clock. I want to break every, every, everything down and uh, explain to you how it works and how I figured out how I like to manage my 70. All right, let's get into it. Okay, now I will say the, uni the, the user interface for your ELD will probably be different on everybody's company, but they will all have these same four times. The top left is your 30 minute DOT, which means you have eight hours. The 11 hour DOT is the amount of hours you can drive in the 14 hour period you have per day in the 70 you have for the week. Now, this first one here, the eight hours, that is drive time. That's not on duty time, that is drive time. But remember this, whenever you start your time for the day, no matter what you do, this clock will not stop running until it gets to zero. So you need to complete all your work, either the eight or the 11 or the 14 before that runs to zero or you go into violation. So no matter what you do, you cannot stop that clock on a daily. Once it starts, it's 14 hours later, it stops. You need to be parked somewhere. Now, this right here, eight hours. You, that is your initial start drive time. That's all you're allowed to drive initially. But you can drive up to 11 in your 14. So in order to get that 11 activated, you have to take a 30 minute break before this eight hour window runs out. Now, you can't do it too early. Since you cannot drive longer than eight hours without having a break, wait till about three hours in or later, then take your 30 minute break to activate to 11. That's how you get three more hours back. Now, you don't technically have to take a 30 minute break. It's any activity to where you are not driving 30 minutes consecutive. So if you're on the ground somewhere doing a pre-trip or you're at a shipper or you're in a live load, any time that you are not driving for 30 consecutive minutes will count as a 30 minute break for your drive time. So keep that in mind. So like if you're getting fuel, it takes 20 minutes. You really don't want to take another 30 minutes break. Just kind of set still for 10 minutes. And voila, your 30 minutes is considered done. And then you get your three extra hours. Now again, whichever one comes first, the 11 or the 14, you have to be parked. So you may be able to be, be able to work 14 hours a day. But you can't drive no more than 11 which is why I focus on the 11 hour mostly, because if I use that 11 hours, then I'm not working a full 13, 14 hour days. I get more mileage and I work less time. So that's what I like to focus on that right there. And then at the end of the 70, you're, you have to take a 34 hour reset. Now this 70 hour, what that means is you're allowed to work 70 hours in eight days, in an eight day period. So if you want to run continuously, what you could do is run your 8, 40, eight hours, 45 minutes a day for seven days and then, or eight days, and then you'll keep getting eight hours, 45 minutes back every day. What I mean by that is look over here. This is my last week. You see how I only have eight days here? It means on the ninth day, whatever hours you worked on the ninth day, you would get those back because it tells you right here. Hours gained back the next day and so forth. But I worked right there at that point i only had about 11 hours remaining and that's when i decided to take the weekend off and that was great this is monday morning i haven't started yet because i haven't got a pre-assignment yet uh someone looked overlooked me over the weekend so that my i mean it's i it feels like it was a quick video on that but i, but I feel like that's 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 all you got to do you start off your day with eight hours allowed to drive 
take a 30 minute break before that eight hours runs out, get three more, and you can drive 11 more. But you can never, you can never stop the 14 hour clock. So like when you go on a break or whatever, or go, or you can click yourself off duty uh, for your breaks, then your 70 hour clock will stop ticking and your drive clocks will stop ticking because you're not driving for one, you're off duty. And the 70 stops clicking because you're off duty. But that 14 hour clock, no matter if you're off duty or you're on duty, if you start at 7 a.m., your 14 hours up at 9 p.m. Regardless of what you do, you cannot stop that clock. You can't, at least as a company driver. I've, I heard there's ways you can split your time, uh, but you, I can't do that. Some company might let you, but this company, my company I work for will not. So it's 14 hours from the start to till it ends. So just remember that when you're out there trying to manage your clock and figuring out. For me, I, I, like I said, I like focusing on the 11 hour drive time. So I'm usually driving between uh, nine and a half to 11 hours a day because I, I, depending on where I'm going, the location, the traffic, if there's gonna be parking by the time I get there, I take, you gotta take all these variables in, in, in your hand, uh, in your mind, mindset, in your, in your plan because you don't know if there's gonna be parking where you're going. So you don't wanna, one of the most stressful things there is as a trucker is watching your time run down when you're stuck in traffic. Especially when you've got the ELD saying 60 minute warning, 30 minute warning. 15 minute warning, five minute warning. Oh, that's stressful as hell. Anyway, I hope this helps. I, I feel like I was kind of a run through, but or a rush through, but I feel like it was thorough. But if there's anything I missed, any questions you have, be sure to put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great one.